Imagine if you can, an aircraft the size of some 737s, crashing every day with no survivors. And the news coverage you would anticipate such a daily loss of life might receive. Presumably, it would be broadcast far and wide, raising awareness with a call to action to bring an end to such needless deaths. When we turn on the news and listen, we rightfully hear about avoidable deaths and lives lost to senseless murder, violence, vehicle fatalities, and this year, deaths resulting from the global COVID-19 pandemic. But in the shadow of this daily news, there remains an epidemic that continues mostly silently and unreported, opioid overdoses that extinguish the lives of up to 200 people every single day. Enough people to fill that commercial airplane. But unlike catastrophic accidents, opioid overdoses are associated with a growing and powerful disease, addiction. And opioid addiction is arguably unlike any other. One of my main roles as Miss America 2020 is to advance my personal social impact initiative, Mind Your Meds, Drug Safety and Abuse Prevention from Pediatrics to Geriatrics. My interest in these topics arose from my experience as a doctor of pharmacy student at Virginia Commonwealth University, where I saw an ongoing unmet need for education and awareness of medication safety, ranging from over-the-counter medications all the way to prescription drugs, and especially prescription opioids. After completing an Aloxone training session with the Virginia Department of Health, and learning how prescription and illicit opioid drugs are plaguing our communities, I knew that I wanted to use my platform to help combat this epidemic. The United States is home to 4.4% of the global population, but we disproportionately consume 30% of opioids globally. We lose more than 130 people every day to an opioid overdose, a number projected to increase to 200 or more in 2020. It's estimated that up to 29% of patients who are prescribed opioids misuse them, and approximately 80% of those who use heroin first misused prescription opioids. Now, while traveling the country both as Miss Virginia and Miss America, I have met many who deal personally with the impact of the opioid crisis every single day. At a parade, a rural policeman told me that he struggles to keep enough naloxone in his vehicle because he uses it so much. During a school visit, an educator shared with me the story of her husband, a pharmacist and pharmacy owner who became addicted to prescription opioids after a medical procedure. It ruined his career, he lost his pharmacy license and his business, and their family was left in a financial collapse. While getting my evening gown fitted for Miss America, I learned about a husband who became addicted to opioids after a motorcycle crash leading to a decade-long downward spiral of domestic violence against the ones he loved, financial ruin for his family, and ultimately his death in September of 2019. These are the families and the faces of opioid addiction, a life that can feel hopeless. It could be your local police officer, your neighbor, or your coworker. By being here today, we have the opportunity to bring hope to those afflicted by addiction and to their families and communities who battle this issue daily. The opioid challenge in America is just one arm of a multifaceted syndemic. We can't properly address the opioid epidemic without also addressing the issues of healthcare access, criminalization or decriminalization of drug use, lack of resources in the time of COVID-19, limited mental health services, and other health disparities that contribute to the devastating effects of opioid misuse at large. Seeking data on the impact of COVID-19 specifically on Americans, the CDC conducted a survey in June of more than 5,000 adults and released the information in mid-August. 13.3% of the respondents indicated that as a result of the impact of the pandemic, they had started or increased substance use, including alcohol and drugs. Data compared to the same quarter of 2019 further indicated an elevation in anxiety, depressive disorder, and serious consideration of suicide. Advocacy for abuse prevention and medication safety is timely and relevant, impacting all socioeconomic classes. And as Miss America and a doctor of pharmacy student, 
My objective is to further bridge the gap in medication safety, increase abuse prevention, and to reduce addiction and raise awareness of related resources. Education is essential to change attitudes and behaviors around medication safety, abuse prevention, and avoiding accidental overdoses. I urge everyone to take their time to fully read and understand their prescriptions. Ask questions and use simple tools like medication logs, proper measuring devices, and pill organizers. And never share prescriptions with anyone. I have also initiated key partnerships with organizations like the CDC on public service announcements advancing the up and away and out of sight pediatric medication safety initiative to improve safe prescription ownership, prevent accidental poisonings, and prevent access by those who may abuse prescription drugs. More than two-thirds of patients have medications left over and few safely dispose of them. This is often due to a lack of knowledge about how or where to dispose of medication. Increasingly, national chain pharmacies and police stations have drop boxes for safe medication disposal. In January, I partnered with the DEA to record a public service announcement for National Drug Take Back Day to increase awareness of safe disposal locations and educate about safe home drug disposal bags like doTERRA. We've learned through this pandemic year the data talks and a shift to making data-driven decisions across the country by sharing statewide data assets and analytics with community leaders for better targeted resources and funding is an innovative and exciting tool to fight this growing crisis. For example, in the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Virginia Framework for Addiction Analysis and Community Transformation, or FACT program, is setting a standard for using large-scale data sets related to substance abuse to help address this crisis throughout the country and to strengthen prevention efforts like education, outreach, and community engagement by providing evidence-based curriculums for targeted youth programs. This program is an example for organizations across the country to collaborate and share data with each other to support a coordinated response to the opioid epidemic. I've met thousands of people in person and virtually along this year's journey. Most have taken a medication in their lifetime or may be currently taking one. Others might be a caregiver administering medications to a child or an older adult. And many will be on multiple medications. Some will be taking prescribed opioids, while others may have experimented with illicit drugs or misused opioids prescribed to someone else or have unused, unsecured opioids at home. Many will have lost someone to an opioid overdose. No doubt, I'll meet some who are often currently, silently battling an opioid addiction. While these may not seem like typical conversation starters, it has become increasingly evident to me as I speak about the opioid epidemic and medication safety that there are countless people throughout our country who are hungry to share their personal stories, who want to be heard, and who want others to know the impact that opioids have had on their lives. As Miss America, I have the unique privilege to hear these voices and carry their messages forward. It's my goal that thousands of Americans will be empowered to go back into their communities, to advocate for what they've learned, and implement safe medication use, storage, disposal, and overdose prevention and naloxone use. Let us all remember that despite what is covered in the media, COVID-19 is just one part of a larger multifaceted syndemic. September is recovery month and together we can raise awareness of this continued national overdose epidemic that is only worsening during the 2020 pandemic. Join me in the goal to provide education and resources reduce the stigma of substance use disorders and drug-related deaths, and acknowledge the grief felt by families and friends, remembering those that they have lost or who suffer from permanent and irreversible injury as a result of an opioid overdose.